I created a smart, occupied sign for our bathroom using off-the-shelf hardware and Google Assistant. It also works with Amazon Alexa. Now, family and friends can be left in peace, safe in the knowledge that no one is going to disturb them. We are a family of five with one bathroom on the main floor. It's not always obvious whether someone is currently indisposed and using the toilet without disturbing the occupant. This includes guests who come over to the house during parties and events and don't want to hear a dreaded knock on the door. To solve the issue, I've always wanted to create a smart sign visible from the outside that automatically switches on to warn others in the home, then switches off again when the bathroom is vacant. Thanks to the interoperability of various brands of smart home products, it's been possible to create my dream setup with off-the-shelf hardware and Google Assistant, or using Amazon Alexa. You don't need any technical expertise, and you can recreate my setup for under $150 Canadian or less. In this video, I go over the whole process of making the smart sign so you can set up your own version or inspire other ideas for your own home or office. The whole project only requires three pieces of hardware and either Google Assistant or Amazon Alexa. However, it's arguably easier to use Amazon Echo devices to achieve the same results thanks to some built-in features on some of the available hardware. The backbone of my smart home is Google-based, so for this video I'll focus on Google Assistant. If you're an Amazon Echo user, I'll show you how you can achieve the same results with one less device in a later chapter of this video. The first and most important piece of hardware you'll need is the neon sign. I discovered that there are a number of vendors on Amazon who will create custom neon signs for you to your own unique specification. After much research, I decided on a vendor based in China who had a very robust customization flow on Amazon itself. It gave me the confidence I was going to receive a sign designed exactly as I wanted. I've included a link in the description below. The other pieces of equipment required are a smart plug that is Google Assistant and Amazon Alexa compatible. I chose a device from one of my favorite brands, Wise. There are a number of different brands you can get, including some lesser known options, which all do the same thing. Again, I've included links in the description below. Finally, you'll need a sensor to detect the presence of someone in your bathroom. I'm already a huge fan of Philips Hue sensors and chose to buy a third sensor as I already have the Hue Zigbee Hub. So adding an additional device rather than further overburdening my overworked home network was ideal. However, should you not have a Philips Hue Hub, there are a number of alternative brands on the market too, including Wi-Fi enabled smart plugs that are compatible with Google Assistant and Amazon Alexa. The Hue sensor is a PIR sensor that detects heat-based motion, so your household and guests don't need to be concerned with their privacy being compromised. The sensor will simply notice a human-sized heat signature within range and update the hub, which in turn updates the compatible connected devices. The light I chose requires a power source that comes with a 5 amp power supply to be plugged into the socket. Luckily there's a very convenient socket near my bathroom door. However, if your own power sockets are much farther away, you may need to buy and run an extension to connect the light. The neon light comes packaged with some hardware to be able to hang the light, and the small window at the top of my bathroom door was ideal for this installation. Depending on your own home, there may be many different ways you could achieve a similar setup using picture hooks in the vicinity of your own bathroom. You'll then plug in the smart plug first and then connect the light to the smart plug. Finally, you'll want to mount the sensor in the bathroom. The Philips Hue sensor is battery powered and I chose the ceiling for the most complete coverage. However, the sensor will also work just fine wherever you place it as long as it's not obscured. The Philips Hue sensor features a range of around 5 meters, so unless your bathroom is bigger than that, it'll be fit for purpose. Once completed, you'll need to connect both your Philips Hue and Wise accounts to Google Assistant via the Google Home app. It's the Google Home app where you enable your devices to work together. If you're doing this for the first time, you'll need to go to Add Device and then choose Works with Google and search for each brand, Philips and Wise. You'll then be required to log in with your credentials. Once complete, both devices will appear in the Devices tab in the Google Home app. Next, assign them to your home by choosing the location of your smart home if you have more than one. And then assign them to your bathroom, either by choosing the predefined bathroom option or creating a new room. The next step is to set up a routine that will instruct each device how you want them to interact. Tap on the Automations tab at the bottom of the Google Home app and then tap Add. 
You can choose whether you want to make this a household routine where anyone using the Google Home app connected to your household can make edits or keep the routine personal to you. This type of routine doesn't require any personalized information, so I chose a household routine. Give the routine a name. And then choose Add Starter and then tap when a device does something. Scroll down to the room and the sensor. Now choose the text motion. You can set the time of day you want the routine to run. In my own setup, I want the light to work at all times. Tap Done and then Add Starter. Next, you want to tell the Y Smart Plug to switch on the light. Tap Add Action and then Adjust Home Devices. Again, scroll down to the room you designated and then tap on the plug and tap the Turn On or Off. The option will be automatically toggled to On. Now tap Add Action to complete the setup. You'll now need to tell the smart plug to switch off the light when there is no one in the bathroom. To do that, start a new routine as before, but label it No Motion or something that makes sense to you. Then tap on Add Starter and again choose the sensor. This time, select Doesn't Detect Motion and select the duration you want. For instance, you can have the routine trigger after a minute of when someone leaves the room or a longer period as desired. Next tap Add Action and set the smart plug to switch off by tapping Adjust Home Devices. Choose the smart plug and then choose Turn Off. Tap Add Action and then Done and you're all set up. While you can achieve the same setup using Amazon Alexa if you're an Amazon Echo user, you don't actually need a separate sensor if you're using a dot. It has a built-in ultrasonic sensor that can be used instead of the Hue PIR sensor. However, to start with, here's how to mirror my setup using Amazon Alexa. In the app, make sure that both the Philips Hue and the Wise accounts are connected to your Amazon Alexa app. Go to More at the bottom of the app page and then choose Skills and Games. Search for Philips Hue and tap on the result. Next, tap Enable to Use to activate the skill and follow the instructions to link the accounts. Do the same thing for Wise. Now back on the Alexa homepage, tap Routines and then tap on the plus icon at the top. Under When, tap Add an Event and then Smart Home to find the Philips Hue sensor. Now choose When Motion is Detected and then Next. Tap Add an Action under Alexa Will and Smart Home and then Plugs and then choose On. Tap Next and then Save. Like the Google Home example, you'll need to instruct the Smart Plug to switch off when no motion is detected. Tap on the plus icon and then tap on Add an Event under When and then Smart Home to find the sensor. The option is already set to not detect it. Set the time you want the routine to switch off the light when the sensor doesn't detect any motion. Next, tap Add an Action under Alexa Will and choose Smart Home and then choose Wise Plug and then Off. As mentioned earlier, it's possible to use Amazon Echo Dot by itself if you don't mind placing the device in your bathroom. During routine setup in the Alexa app, tap Add an Event and then choose Smart Home. Now tap your Echo Dot from your device list. Now tap Occupancy and choose People are Detected. Tap Next. Then tap Add an Action under Alexa Will and follow the same steps as before to instruct your smart plug to switch on. To have the smart plug switch off, create a new routine Follow the same steps as before, but choose People Not Detected during the Occupancy stage and tap Next. Unlike using the Hue sensor, you're unable to specify a delay, and the routine will trigger and switch the light off immediately when it no longer senses someone. Thank you for watching, and as always, it would be great if you were to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more content on personal technology and the connected home.